Well, making it in Hollywood is next to impossible, and making it as a woman is even tougher. But our next guests have done it, and in their new film, stand up for women in a subtle but significant way. Patricia Clarkson, Emily Mortimer, and Sally Potter are award-winning actors and filmmakers, and now they're working together on the new film, The Party, about a group of friends who gather to celebrate as one rises in the political world. But as the night goes on, there are more revelations in store. Watch. It seems that we are expecting not one, not two, but three babies. Wow. People. Small people. Congratulations. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Was that a boast or a, a cry for help, Martha? I couldn't quite tell from your tone of voice. The miracle of conception. Uh, shut up, Godfrey. Shut up, Godfrey. Please welcome Patricia Clarkson, Emily Mortimer, and Sally Potter. Hi. Welcome. Hi, Hi. Hi. Good to see you. Hi, Hi. you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Come on over here, anywhere. Woo. So I loved this film. <laughs> I was, I didn't know what to expect, but I thought it was so thoughtful, so funny, and so well played. Let me start with you on it, Sally, because it's all done in black and white. Why is that? Well, black and white is, of course, more colorful. <laughs> <laughs> it allows the extremes of, of dark and light, the shadow side of people and the brightness when they're illuminated. It felt right for the story. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's, um, th the main character has ascended to uh, political office yeah. and your character is Acerbic, <laughs> cynical, <laughs> funny, cutting. All of those. Radically yes, honest. Yes. Um, and has some great quotes about how it was, um, she looks like a girl, thinks like a man, androgynous soul. Is, <laughs> that's sort of what it takes to succeed as a woman in politics, or for example, it could be uh, true of a woman in, in Hollywood. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Right. I think we all need... Uh, well, I think men souls. and androgynous, androgynous souls. souls, and I think men need androgynous souls because I think they need to put themselves in our place often in today's day. Know, yes, it's a smart film, don't you feel? Very. The That's why we wanted to. I mean, you look at this cast that the, she assembled, the brilliant Sally Potter, and mm -hmm. it, we all came together because it was, you know, a treat to work with this level of actor. Uh, all of us together. How would you describe what it's about? When I watched it, it had, uh, you know, sort of a, an, it had like a Woody Allen feel, like just so the smart dialogue, Woody repartee, the way it was shot, clever and surprising, and different plot lines all coming together. But what would you, what do they need to know about what it's about? What I love about it is that um, it's a satire. I mean, it's, it's satirizing these people. Um, and, and what's brilliant about Sally is that she's satirizing people that, whose political views she probably agrees with, more or less. More or less. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're on the left-ish side yeah. of life. Ish. But they are... <laughs> what, what, what she's making this most brilliant point, uh, which is that politics, our politics, just like our love lives, just like what we think about food or what we think about movies or what we think about anything are completely subjective and kind of rid ridiculous. Mm -hmm. and, and it's a sort of... And, and these people in this movie feel very, very passionately about what they believe in, but you start to realise that, their, that their, their passions, as I well, say, are just... she exposes each one of us yes. through the course of the evening. It all takes place in real time. Mm -hmm. And, and we shot, shot it in two weeks. Yeah, uh, this it's a two film. Weeks. Two is it true weeks. you did it in sequence? Uh, more or less. More yeah. or less. Yeah. That's yes. very unusual, right? Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. just showed up in London. Yeah. And, it's radical. Uh, She's a radical. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's and, still uh, Yeah, we well, all Well, I love April, in... so your character, this brutally honest liberal who is giving her boyfriend Godfrey a hard time the whole, the whole... You saw a clip of it, and there are others where she says things like, shut up, Godfrey, your cliches are unbearable, which I'm completely <laughs> stealing. Um, but what I said in the intro about how there's, this, there's a nod to the empowerment of women in the fact that you all got equal pay. Oh, yes. Which shouldn't oh, be yes. newsworthy. No, it but shouldn't. But it is. It is. It, and, it is. And do you feel like, as strong female role models in Hollywood, that is going to be the way forward? Because it hasn't been thus far? Well, I think, uh, I look at all these incredible women. It has to change everywhere for all of us. We've tolerated it for so long, the inequality mm -hmm. in our industries, wherever we may work, our workplaces. 
because as Sally said, you said so profoundly, it's we've all often been in survival mode. We've just, you know, and especially in Hollywood where they just, you know, they eat the young. And I mean, well, they love the young, they eat the old. Uh, <laughs> Just look at that. Uh, yeah. Woo. Uh, but they, but I think that we, I think the curtain has been pulled back. I like to think of it as Oz, but behind that curtain is a woman who's going to have to give these men a heart, a brain, and courage, mm -hmm. you know? And this is what's happening. Yes. It's no, it's no accident. It's no accident that the, the film runner here is you, a woman. So, how important was that to you? And how important do you think it is to see women ascending? to these top roles in order to gain true equality? Well, I've always written roles for women that are amazing because all the women that I know are amazing. It's an accurate portrayal of how we are. The other way is not accurate. It's impoverished, it's leaving out uh, many of the qualities, bravery, courage, wit, darkness, lightness, all the shades. Uh, so to write women who are nuanced in that way, complicated as we are, uh, struggling on top, not on top, failing, succeeding, all of those things is enriching, not just for women, but for all of us, for all audiences. It's a humanizing thing. So I've always written that way. And by the way, I've always tried to ensure that everyone on the film is paid equally. I think it's so crucial, the economic underpinning of what it gives to the feeling of the working process. Everybody knows they're in it together. It induces a kind of courage and mutual respect for everybody. And by the way, I was also on that equal pay roster. So it was really a sense of we are in this together, right. on this adventure together. Ellen Pompeo came out recently with a piece in The Hollywood Reporter and said too, too often women are afraid of feeling greedy, feeling greedy yes, in asking think, for the same. Yeah. And it's not, a, I, actually, when you're in a contract negotiation, you must be greedy. I always say, having practiced law for 10 years, you must be a pig. That is the time to be comfortable just going for it. Um, because otherwise you wind up with less than you deserve. You might, you might settle for less in, in the end, but you have to aim for up here. And I think we're also sometimes in our industry, we're so thankful to have the job. And at a certain age, as we progress, I'm in my 50s, late 50s. <laughs> um, and as we progress, I think we're just often so thankful to have the job that we're not going to make waves. We're not going to go into too much uh, uh, negotiations and elaborate but negotiations. of course, that's exactly the wrong way to think about it. Because yes. you ha they're, they're not, she didn't give you that role because you're a nice person. No. Right? No. no. You got it because of your talent. Well, maybe. That, no. women, <laughs> women need to remember that more, you know, go well, in there with a little bit of hubris, a little bit uh, of hubris. And you know. but, but we do think that we're lucky. I often say, people say, oh, Patty, you work, your work is... Oh, I'm lucky. Well, we weren't lucky to be working. We, we've earned where Absolutely. we caught where, you know, we men Luck never, has little to do with it. We think of men who are later in life lucky to be working. Yeah. We think women are lucky to be working later. No. She's right. not that kind. She, you, you had to go in there with talent <laughs> to get that role. Ladies, thank you so much. The, I highly recommend it. It's called The Party. It opens in select theaters this Friday, and I think you'll laugh and really enjoy it. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.